So you have a BMW F-Series car with the N55, S55, S63TU, or any one of those performance-based turbo engines, and you want to tune it. Where do you go? What do you do? Boot mode is definitely one of the best platforms for off-the-shelf flash tuning for your BMW F-Series car. It provides a really good platform to work with custom tunes, off-the-shelf flashing, code reading, data logging, and a number of other really cool functions and features that you can connect with on your car and just take that driving experience to the next level. This video is gonna to aim to explain that, everything you need, everything that you're gonna to have to do and the steps required to flash your car. It's really not that hard, it's very simple. Let's get right into it. So for this video specifically, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to flash boot mode with a laptop and we're just gonna be going through a basic overview of flashing an OTS map or an off-the-shelf tune. That's all I'm gonna be going over in this video today. I'll probably be making a video later on about some more in-depth features like customizing and configurating a bunch of different features within your car, data logging, as well as custom maps and things of that nature. But all you're gonna need is a KCAN to Ethernet cable, and I will leave Amazon links to all these products in the description below. If you guys click on the link and purchase through my link, I'll receive a small commission in return, which helps me and helps support the channel. So if you guys could do that, that'd be awesome. And then if you're flashing with a Mac, you'll be needing this lightning to Ethernet adapter. And this is pretty important. So this is for an older generation Mac. If you have a newer Mac like I do, you'll be needing a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, but for some reason the one that I got doesn't work, so I'm using an older Mac today which requires this lightning adapter as well as this here. And again, I'll leave all those links in the description down below. So in this case, I'm gonna be using an Apple Mac OS device, and this is an old MacBook. I think it's like a 2015 model, uh, but it's good enough and it works with the flash. And of course, you'll need your car. We're gonna be demonstrating on this 2015 MC35i, which is my specific car. So this is the boot mode website. As you can see, I'm on the home page. Um, everything is cloud-based as well. It uses this like cloud-based software to store all your maps and all that kind of stuff. Boot mode also has a really good customer support team that really help you out with any issues or any questions that may arise. They're really fast at getting back to you as well. So as you can see, I'm on the home page right here, but if we scroll down, you're gonna see some of the maps. So this is for like the S55, if you have an F80 M3 or M4. Uh, this is for cars like many of us watching, so M235i, 435, 335, it's for N55. And you can see the price for most of these tunes is around 600 bucks or 595 USD. So you can see they even have it for the new Supra, stuff like that. So first off, you're gonna wanna make an account and to do that, you'll just click on this little icon right here. And from there, I'm currently logged in as Omar, but you know, if you're making an account, you're gonna just create a new one, enter your information, save your login as well, it's obviously important to have. And then from there, you'll wanna come down and then purchase the correct tune. And so, in this case, M235i tune, like for my car, I went and add to cart, or you could just click buy now, you enter your payment information, and then bam, you have purchased the tune. So, what do you do from there? So you'll go ahead and click menu, and then you're gonna wanna go right here to bootmode.net login. And from there, you're gonna wanna click, you'll see it'll bring you to this screen. And many times you might have to sign in. And in order to do that, you'll just enter your boot mode login information as normal. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click this little button right here and go to your dashboard. So you can see this is where it logs everything, your data logging stuff like your AFRs and it just measures a bunch of different things. And from there you're gonna wanna click vehicle. And you can see right here, this is my car, it has the VIN and everything. And it's obviously it's gonna say error because it didn't, you know, my car isn't connected right now. But you're gonna wanna register your car here. So you're gonna have to like enter your VIN and a couple other things and from there it'll basically pull up uh, you know, exactly your car's information and kind of register it in their system. Uh, so that way it can basically match the tunes. And I believe boot mode maps are VIN locked. So I don't think they can be transferred from one car to another. I think it's only locked to one car. So make sure the VIN is for the car that you want to run essentially. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to click this button right here and then go ahead and go to OTS Maps. 
Now here you're gonna see a full list of all the maps and whatnot. We're gonna be flashing stage two, 91. So you can see there's different maps. So stage one is generally used for like a stock car. Uh, it's safe to use on a stock car. I mean, I would recommend upgrading your charge pipe to an aluminum unit, of course. But aside from that, you can run stage one without really any other bolt-ons. And as you can see, there's a couple other variations. So you can see stage one, 91 octane, stage one, 93 octane, if you have 93 in your area. And then there's ACN 91 octane. So ACN 91 is like a little bit different. And that's what California users, uh, Nevada users as well, I believe, would want to use is the ACN 91 map. And from there, you jump into stage two, stage 291, stage 293, et cetera, et cetera. And you kind of go on, so on and so forth. And then, so there's like race gas maps, you know, you have your E30 map, and then you even have maps for like upgraded turbos and stuff like that. So there's a lot of variation within the maps and stuff like that. So like I said, we're gonna be splashing the stage two 91 ACN map. So we'll go ahead and click that. Uh, you can see it just has like the latest firmware fixes and stuff like that. And then you're just gonna wanna click get tune. Are you sure you'd like to acquire this map? Go ahead and click yes and you'll see success. So now we're gonna click this bar again and we're gonna to go to my maps. And you can see, here we go, I have my map. So I have the stock tune for the M235i. Here's my stage two E30 map that I currently have. And then you can see the stage two ACN 91 octane map right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then from there, you have a couple options. You can request support, you can delete it, you can change the details, flash, and then up at the top right, you'll see config. So you can configure a bunch of things. So you can do like GTS startup roar, max cooling mode, cold start cat heating, high pressure fuel pump stuff, boost by gear. There's a lot of cool options. Uh, I'm not gonna really mess with any of these for today's example. I'm currently running the stage two E30 map and I wanna flash back to the stage 291. So I'm gonna go to the gas station and flash the car there because I want to be able to immediately put 91 octane in it without having to drive it with E85 when it's not tuned for E85, if that makes sense. And I've purposely let the car get pretty low on fuel so that it's ready to go and there's not gonna be a whole lot of E in the tank. So let's go ahead and get over to the gas station and we'll go on from there. You guys gotta listen to this freaking exhaust sound. Sounds freaking insane. Oh my god. Okay guys, so we're at the gas station, as you can see. Sitting in the car right now, and went ahead and hooked up everything. The OBD is connected. You can see the cable lights up when it's connected into the OBD2 port. And now I'm on boot mode. You can see it's just monitoring some basic things, AFRs, timing, engine speed, all that kind of stuff. And another thing that I forgot to mention is at the same time that you create your boot mode account, you're also gonna want to download the OBD agent. So that is down here. And what this does is it's basically like a portal that allows the boot mode app to connect with the car and communicate with it. So if you don't have this, you're not really gonna be able to flash or do anything uh, within the boot mode platform itself. So make sure that is downloaded and running at the same time as the app itself. So now we're gonna go to My Maps. And from My Maps, what we're gonna do is choose the Stage 2 91 Octane map right here. We're gonna go ahead and flash. So the car needs to be off for this, so we'll make sure to shut the car off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off completely. And then We'll put it in the accessory mode like so. And try to make sure that your AC, your headlights, all that kind of stuff is off, especially if you're not plugged into a battery charger. And from here, we will go ahead and flash. Press here to flash now. We're gonna go ahead and flash. Now the map flash itself should only take around like two minutes or so. It usually doesn't take a whole lot of time, so it's pretty quick. All right, and success, our stage two 91 octane aggressive flash, flash successfully. Now we just need to shut the car off or wait five seconds, then start the car. So what I'm actually gonna do is because I'm low on gas and I purposely left the car low on gas, I'm actually gonna put fuel in and then we'll go ahead and start the car up. The flash itself took maybe 30 seconds, might've been even quicker, uh, really, really fast and very easy to do. So I'll go ahead and put some gas and then we'll start the car up and resume. So just went ahead and put some gas in. Let's hear that GTS startup roar. God, that sounds mean. 
But overall, that's how you flash a OTS map using boot mode. So it's really not complicated at all. If you're using a laptop, it's very straightforward. Just as long as you have the correct cables and hardware that you need, you shouldn't really have any problems. It's a very, very smooth process overall. And the flash times are very, very quick, which is really nice. So if you guys have any questions, of course, you can feel free to let me know in the comment section down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram at simplycarthings underscore. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys might have. But all that being said, please leave a like as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.